Do you need a vacation? Do you want to go somewhere where you can go to museums, eat delicious food, explore incredible nature, and party all night? Is there even a place that can provide all of this? There most certainly is. You should plan a trip to Gainesville, Florida. It is a fantastic city, most likely one of America's hidden treasures. However, this is one of the best places in Florida for Floridians. While Florida is best known for Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and the Keys, Gainesville should not be overlooked. We are confident that you will enjoy your trip. Let us look at some of the best things to do in Gainesville, Florida. First and foremost, you must go on a street food tour. You will most likely be hungry when you finally arrive in Gainesville. Gainesville's restaurant scene has a wide variety of casual and upscale dining options, but a street food tour is the perfect way to kick off your trip. On this guided tour of Gainesville's best restaurants, you will get to sample dishes from all over the world while learning about the city's rich culinary past. During your stay, eat at as many of Gainesville's fantastic eateries as possible. The Maple Street Biscuit Company is one of the best breakfast spots in Gainesville and serves delicious southern food. Buttermilk biscuits are the perfect vehicle for fried chicken. This dish pairs well with warm maple syrup. You can also top your biscuit with extras like goat cheese or bacon. Mojo Hogtown Bar BQ is a great place to go for lunch or dinner. This is a great place to get traditional barbecue meals and craft beer and a great place to visit if you're traveling to Gainesville with a large group. Mi Apa Latin Cafe serves authentic Latin cuisine. You will enjoy Dragonfly Sushi and Sake Company if you enjoy Japanese cuisine. Spend some time walking around the city so you can compile a list of ideal restaurants to visit. Before we get into the best things to do in Gainesville, Florida, please like this video and subscribe to Travel Pug for more great content on travel and where to plan your next vacation. Number two, pay a visit to one of Gainesville's museums. Gainesville has several museums where you can learn more about the city's history and culture. To begin, go to the Florida Museum of Natural History close to the University of Florida. It is a fantastic museum with many exhibits of flora, fauna, and fossils. There are also several temporary exhibits. You will also enjoy visiting the Butterfly Rainforest. They will enjoy exploring this museum if they are in Gainesville with small children. The Cade Museum for Creativity and Innovation is the next museum you should visit. Dr. Robert Cade created the drink Gatorade, named after the University of Florida's official team, the Florida Gators. This museum will teach you about Dr. Cade's inventions and the creation of Gatorade, you will also learn about American innovation and how we can encourage future generations to be creative. Again, if you are traveling with young children, this is an excellent museum. You'll want to head to the Harn Museum of Art if you're an art lover. This is an excellent museum for exploring a wide range of art worldwide. There are exhibitions dedicated to Asian and African art. There is also a contemporary art exhibit. It is also one of the largest art museums in the southern United States, so do not miss it. Third, take advantage of the city's nightlife. As one of Florida's premier college towns, Gainesville is known for its vibrant nightlife. The White Buffalo is a fantastic nightclub where you can dance until the wee hours. On Main Street, it is a thoroughfare that locals and tourists use frequently. There are many songs to choose from, so everyone can find something they like. Shots and cocktails are available all night. This is a must-see for anyone who enjoys the nightlife. The Arcade Bar is a one-of-a-kind watering hole. It is a bar with drinks and vintage arcade games, such as pinball machines, lining the walls. If you do not feel like dancing and would rather hang out and play games with your friends, this is the perfect place. The Midnight is a fantastic laid-back bar that welcomes solo travelers, couples, and small groups. You can watch or perform stand-up comedy at numerous open mic nights. The Bank Bar and Lounge is another fantastic spot for dancing, especially Latin dances. It has been whispered that this building served as a bank well over a century ago. The helpful wait staff and pleasant bartenders have earned the establishment a stellar reputation. The Social is a fantastic bar that many faculty and students at the University of Florida enjoy frequenting. Several beers and spirits are available on tap at this upscale watering hole. Scotch is served alongside live acoustic music, and even special nights are dedicated to women and sports viewing. You can get some of the cheapest drinks and meals here as well. The Gainesville House of Beer is the place to go if you just want to spend a few hours relaxing with your friends and drinking your favorite local craft. 
you'll get to choose from over 40 craft beers and get advice from expert bartenders. It is a popular local hangout and a fantastic spot to meet people. Seeing a live show is another fantastic way to spend an evening in Gainesville. Gainesville has several theaters to catch a play, dance performance, or musical. The Florida Theater, Hippodrome Theater, Gainesville Community Playhouse, Actors Warehouse, and Curtis M. Phillips Center for the Performing Arts are just a few of the theaters in the area. Dancing, drinking, and hanging out at night in Gainesville are a blast. Gainesville's nightlife parallels other exciting Florida cities like Miami and Key West. Number four, discover the natural beauty of Gainesville. Like many other places in Florida, Gainesville is known for its incredible natural beauty. The Carson Springs Wildlife Conservation Foundation is a must-see for animal lovers. It is a rehabilitation center where you can meet various species of rescued families. The Siberian lynx, bobcats, Indian rhinos, and lemurs are among them. However, keep in mind that you will need to book your tour in advance. Visit Devil's Mill Hopper Geological State Park if you want to explore nature and enjoy walking trails. It is also an excellent spot for a picnic. We recommend paying a visit to the 120-foot deep sinkhole. You will need hiking shoes, plenty of water, and snacks because the descent is quite difficult. But this is only the beginning of Gainesville's incredible natural beauty. Visit Aichitukne Springs State Park as well. It encompasses over 2,200 acres of breathtaking natural beauty, where you can enjoy sightseeing and various other outdoor activities. Swimming and scuba diving are options. When you visit, you can also go for walks with your friends. You will also get to see various wildlife, including catfish and alligators. Payne's Prairie is a must. See if you want to go hiking or spend a night or two camping. It is a 21,000 acre park with many places to learn about its history. You will see everything from alligators to bison. Make time in your schedule to enjoy the natural beauty that Gainesville has to offer. You can spend a few hours or an entire day at the Payne's Prairie Conservation Foundation. You should make the most of your time exploring Gainesville's natural surroundings. Fun things to do is number five on the list. You can have even more exciting experiences in Gainesville. Visit Dave and Buster's with the kids if you're on vacation as a family. Even if this is not unique to Gainesville, it is still a fun spot where people of all ages can hang out and play everything from arcade games to pool. You can have a wonderful meal there for lunch or dinner. The Regal Cinema at Celebration Pointy is an excellent theater for moviegoers. Having a drink while watching a film is also an option. It is equipped with recliners and surround sound to make watching movies more comfortable. Downtown Gainesville is a must-see, so plan to go there multiple times during your stay Visitors and residents alike can be found here. You can find a wide variety of dining options, bars, and clubs. It is also a pleasant place to socialize and do some shopping. Downtown Gainesville is a great place for solo travelers to relax and think about what lies ahead on their itinerary. Do you feel prepared to travel to Gainesville? If so, what are you looking forward to the most? Are you looking forward to exploring the city's many museums and discovering its rich heritage? Are you more interested in the bar crawls and other activities? Let us know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed these suggestions, please click the like button and subscribe to Travel Pug for more great travel ideas. Hit the bell icon to receive regular notifications about our latest content. We'll see you in the next video.